so one person tells you year to two years, right? And then yeah. we have our third class. Uh, how quick do you feel I the mean, research starting was addressed? The well, let me just go. The walking was fixed in one session, one one-hour session. The walking was not a problem. The research starting. I'm trying to think. I think. I mean, after one session, it improved. It wasn't gone. Mm -hmm. um, it took a couple of sessions um, to make it go away. I almost want to shout out to my husband. I did. How, how many sessions before the research guardian went away? Like three. Three Two of his. The third by the third session. Uh, yeah. So three weeks. So. Okay. We did one session a week every week. So, but by the third session, I would say like he was he he was not neither not stealing. I it literally got to a point where you were like, "How's it going?" And I was like, "I, <laughs> you have, to think about it. I have to think." I was like, "Wait a minute! Like, when's the last time you stole something? When's the last time I had to hide something?" I got to the point where I was it was hard for me to remember like the bad things he was doing. Mm -hmm. Like even when you come down, like, all right, what, what did he do that was bad? What yeah. did he do? Um, so yeah, after a two three sessions. Yeah. And, and so, uh, uh, and oh, that's something else. Sorry, but that's something else I read online that was like your dog. I mean, again, what we have to be still be cautious and still be smart about things. Like uh -huh. we can't be dumb. But um, online, I read like this is something your dog will all but may always have, and like that's really what scared us to the point of being like, what do we do? Because every online we were reading like, you know, this is behavior is natural, but if mm -hmm. they if it gets if it escalates, if you get to the point of like no return, like if you don't nip <laughs> no it, return. if you, you don't nip <laughs> it in the butt at like eight to ten weeks, basically yes. like you're screwed, like your dog's gonna have this problem and I was like, well, we're screwed, like Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. I mean I've had dogs nine years, yeah. same problem, done. Yeah, so I think that like I don't know. If I could like praise it even more, like that was shocking to me as well. Because something that had been for so long present in our lives and such a big problem to be gone within three weeks and or if that gone because I mean well like you know even when he wasn't wearing the collar he was still something to steal but we can like get him away get him away from it at that mm -hmm. point and like now like I said like I told you yesterday he um he's no collar on no shocking he's he, he grabbed like a tissue or something and I could have no problem getting it from him having him drop it and get it from him yeah so that, you know, I don't know how many weeks that took, but I don't know when that happened, but... And, and just to <laughs> give people an idea, because here we have a beautiful Christmas tree. Yeah. And, and she showed me a photo of last year. Yeah. Did, did I want to find it? <laughs> um... Oh yeah, this is not like this pretty little setup that happened <laughs> last year. Um... Uh -uh. Yeah, so I'll, I'll walk up. So go and describe here what we're looking at. So that is when the behavior, positive behavior. This is actually her, or it's her recommendation. She uh, told us this is a, a year ago around now. She had told us to get a barrier. So because basically she said a Christmas tree is like the sparkly, shiny thing, and there's too much temptation for the dog. So similar concept to like the kitchen island encounters, like clear counters, clear island. Don't let them have something that they that what's the word she used? Don't put them in a situation that they can't that they don't put them in a bad situation or something. She had yes. a better word for it. Like don't tell them to fail. Yeah, something. thank you. Something like that. Yep. So she's like, well get get a barricade. Get a barricade for the tree. And then like get a barricade for the sliding door. Because now he's associating the sliding door as his space. So we had like we, we took chairs and barricaded the sliding door. We barricaded the Christmas tree, and he's not a dumb dog, he's a big dog. So like we put like a gate up, and then we put like a bench, and he just nudged it over or went under the bench and got to it. So I was like, all right, I need to add more layers. So then I got some boxes that came in the mail, and I added like a whole roll of boxes to it. Literally at one point they were like, but I think it like came through halfway through this room, where it was just like boxes of stuff that were like barricading the tree because he would just steal, I mean, the, the, the branches, the ornaments, the lights, like I didn't want him to electrocute himself. Like, yeah. It was bad. And like we put this tree up, I don't know, two, a couple days ago. Mm -hmm. um, and one time he like went behind it just to lay behind it. Um, but I don't even think, he took one ornament off the table that we got away from him. It was like a little straw ornament. Mm -hmm. um, but he hasn't even like, I don't know, like gone up to it. I'm still stolen anything. Like I'm still in shock by the fact that I have a Christmas tree. Like in here I go, oh, I have a tree every year. It's gonna be it. I was the point of getting a tree. Yeah. Um. So yeah, no. Had to put the presents behind the barricade. Yeah. Really yeah. Having to crawl over. Like when 
company came over, it was embarrassing. We had this beautiful tree and like a room full of boxes to barricade my dog from it. Yeah. Um, this is, I, I, it's, it's interesting when I hear this stuff. It, it, for me, it's just like, everything's like accommodating the dog, you know? Oh yeah. I, I, like literally for like the first six months, I remember long having him. It was just like, we were like the most ridiculous. We did the most ridiculous things. Like I'm thinking back to when we had a po the positive therapist. I don't want to give her quotes because she was a very good woman, but uh -huh. behavioral therapist, which and that may approach may work for some people, but not for us. But anyways, yes. um, when we like resource for her fix for the resource guarding was okay. He's taking it to his bed and take his bed away from him, so he's not associating that this is his like this is like this is his space. So then we had to take away his bed and block off the corner that he was going to, so he stopped going there. Well, what did he do? He stole the item and went to another area of the house. Mm -hmm. So it's not like, I was like, well, he's not, he's not taking it to his corner. He's just taking it and yeah. making a brat about it and not giving it back. So like, and I guess when she was telling me these things, like in theory, may, it may work for some dogs, it didn't work for us, but mm -hmm. like, it made sense. Like, okay, what? Well, this is too tempting. He's too, he's too young. Like, you know, uh, you know, don't, don't, don't give that as a temptation to him. He can't control his behavior. Mm -hmm. um, which that's not the case. A lie. They can't. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. That, that was. It's not the case. Like now, clearly, I have a tree and I, I, have my, I have shoes on the ground. Like my boots have been there for I don't know a week, and like no bite marks, no no stealing, no nothing. Or that's like right. one time he grabbed my boot because I walked in the door. He was so excited to see me, but mm -hmm. it was like ah, yeah, like you're here, you're here, you're mm here. -hmm. Um, and he dropped it within like the second I had to drop it. He dropped it. So, okay. Um, so yeah, like you, I mean, okay, I feel like I can't, but like even like playing with him, like I can now play with him better. Like, like tug of war, uh -huh. we practice like drop this when I'm playing tug of war, uh -huh. and like he knows his boundaries. Like uh -huh. he used to rip our coats like before. Like uh -huh. we would play tug and he would like yank out our coat, yank out our sleeve. I'd have company come over and like they'd I say, I'd say you're not allowed in my house if you're wearing a sweater. My dog will eat your sweater. So like. My mom, my co my co or cousins, like they'd come through the door, and he would like just go at the sweater and like be inking at their sweaters because he liked knit things. Um, I have gone through many sweaters in the past year, um, but I forget which tangent I was going on. But drop. So and yes, now the release, I, yeah. the release. So like the playing in the yard, the, he, the sweaters. He release the sweaters. Like playing in the yard, the ball. He release the ball. When I say release, and like I could throw it, and he'll release it. So. Um, like even playing with him now is more fun mm -hmm. and controllable because it's not like just this dog that doesn't know what we're doing. Like he, he gets it now. Like he'll actually like almost when he wants to retrieve things, you know. I gotcha. Um, yeah. So that's almost improved too. Good. Yeah. Um.